I think the exceptional thing about Nick Grimshaw is that he does indeed want to change the world for humanity. He does want to improve people's lives by the built environment. I think the example that he shows for the capability of architecture to be a positive good in the evolution of cities, but also the evolution of communities, is extraordinary. Sir Nicholas Grimshaw has been immensely influential uh, in the profession and also in the public's perceptions of the profession with groundbreaking work, buildings of huge importance across the globe. A hugely talented individual and very driven and, um, uh, and very focused and very, very consistent. He very early on did really innovatory work. I mean, I think in particular the, the bathrooms that were done in Paddington. I always loved the Service Tower project because of the simplicity of the idea. The bathrooms were prefabricated fiberglass pods which then got plugged into this spiral tower. They were extraordinary and, and were very much the kind of thing that we were all talking about. You know, he went and did it. Grimshaw is renowned for its approach to innovation, but also they actually apply themselves quite well to sustainability. I think the Eden Project's really iconic. It was ahead of its time. It's been a great popular success. People love going there. It has a sense of drama. It has a sense of science fiction about it. What really first drew my attention to his work was Waterloo Station. It broke the vernacular of the railway station. There was something beautiful about bringing glass in to such an intimate space. He brought his interest in transport and trains into our life at home. We had a, that's a Lego train set that was suspended from the ceiling with pulleys, a pulley system that you could bring down to play with. Yeah, I'm not totally sure it was for us. <laughs> his, I think, grandfather and father were engineers and his love of Brunel. You know, you can see that all through. Every single building has got a touch. When you walk through, you can feel you have somebody behind who actually cared about you. And that is all what architecture is, is about. I'm amazingly thankful in getting the gold medal. It does really give you a sense that there's a feeling of warmth for what you're doing, uh, what you've done in your life. That's a pretty, pretty good feeling to have, in a way.